Before skipping to the shiny encounter, I would like to explain some things about this hunt. This is the tongue, and the whole thing is the worm. Welcome in, guys. Uh, once again, here with uh, another Colosseum shiny. This time with the with the, this beautiful, beautiful wormy boy Dunsparce. So total number for like the Dunsparce that was uh up, like eight, literally on the like on the dot. Like it was like uh um one thousand and eight hundred eighty Dunsparce seen. You know, uh, just you know independently. Um, which was nice actually, and then but total of course with the, along with the Swablu and the Metatite were 5,640, which was still under odds, you know. So both numbers were pretty under odds, which was nice. Um, <clears throat> this is actually one of the early game hunts in Colosseum. Um, so the option uh, on types of Pokeballs it is still a little limited, but um, but luckily it's actually not too bad actually. Because this is also the earliest part of the game where you have access to Ultra Balls. Um, it, which is the, you know, which is basically this hunt's bread and butter. Um, and although you only get three Ultra Balls in this, in this ca uh, cave, uh, because you do find them in, in like, just as, a, as an item drop. Um, it's still more than enough thanks to, of course, Colosseum's uh, dupe glitch that you can take advantage of and everything. So as you can see, uh, the walk is what's a bit annoying, uh, 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 you know, of this hunt in general. Um, in fact, actually, I rate this, uh, like, in regards of, like, all the 51 hunts in Coliseum, um, this, I rate this one to be probably the second longest walk in the game, um, in regards of just, of course, shiny hunting, of course, um, it, it, it of course, number one t being the Raikou, uh, actually, walk the, that one, actually. Um, once you get there, though, the, the fights aren't that bad. In fact, um, both Metatite and Dunsparce have identical catch rates with the Ultra Ball. Uh, both at full HP um, have a 50% catch rate. So that's without doing absolutely anything. No, nothing, just uh, uh, chucking the, the Ultra Balls. And, um, but then with Paralysis, it at automatically becomes 80% for both the Dunsparce and the Metatite. Um, hence why I never did any damage to them. I just Paralysis was more than enough. Um, if hunted individually, Dunsparce can be about a 3 minute and a half soft reset. And, including with the walk, so not bad actually. Um... Of course, you know, once I do end up going back for Meditat and, and uh, Swablu, I'll talk about the, their own features um, in their own video, so. Um, but yeah, so this was Dunsparce, really, really fun. Uh, Dunsparce is also always taken out first, so that, that's actually a nice little bonus. Um, but anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoy. This was actually really, really fun and really, really happy with this guy. This is going to be 2,200 on this reset. 
Oh wow. Yep, so that's 5,200 total. Mm-hmm. Pretty happy. <laughs> It's already 7, 6 p.m. Jesus It's weird that there's only the, um, the, I guess, four rock types if you count Slugma. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, for every type, there's not really, like, um, like, honestly, it's, like, I, like, um, thinking about it and kind of seeing, like, the list of mons, like, there's not really that type. There's only a couple of types you can potentially make a full team of them, you know, if you uh -huh. decide to do, like, full DTQ like that. But a lot of them are just, like, where, oh, it's only three, it's only four, it's only three, or whatever, you know. Um, yeah. I know, I, I'm pretty sure you can easily make a full team of water types, for example. Um... Oh, yeah. You could also make a team of, of normal types. Mm -hmm. Fire type? And flying type. Flying type for sure, yeah. Uh, or maybe... um, Fire type I think is close. Fire type is very close. Really? Uh, let, let me, That's let me just... weird. I can only think of Entei. And... No, no, it's... So, yeah. Kulava, Slugma... Uh, oh, yeah. eh, like, what is it? Uh, Entei... Uh... Houndoom and uh, sh 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 sh. and uh, like I, I guess that's it. If you're if you're feeling brave, ho oh, but <laughs> but uh, like but nah, yeah. And, and it's kind of sad that like mischievous is like the only ghost type. Oh yeah. So you have only one ghost type, and then um. You can, let's see, grass type, let's see, bay leaf, skip bloom, some flora, tropius, okay, so four of them, not bad. Oh, steel type, you could also go with scissor. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I forgot about that, I was doing that. And then, uh... So here's my here's my list, I think. So I've got the Makuhita random starter, all the ground types, and then the rock type ones, random starters, Slugma, Sudabuto, T-Tar, Shuckle, and then maybe Yanma on that one. I'm not sure, but maybe Ooh, Yanma. It's either going to be Yanma or it's going to be Flappy. And I think the last one's gonna be the last starter, the Forestress, Skarmory, Metagross, Caesar, and then Murkrow. Because, like, the, um, the Murkrow, at least in my opinion, like, having that right there, um, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be cool. I, I'm not, I don't think that I can hunt that would the forest but like you, having you road. potentially could if you set it up correctly you can actually hunt that like r right next to fortress so um so it'll, it'll be fun yeah and murkrow gets nightshade which is the only reason i really want it <laughs> mm -hmm. that way because i'm not gonna um 
I'm probably not gonna actually like do many post game hunts. I'm gonna mainly like hunt with what Coliseum gives me and not like trade much over. I mean, to be fair, like there's not much post game ones. Like really, like uh, post game would be uh, like that's absolutely locked. Post game would only be like. Uh, obviously, if you if you're doing the starters post game, um, Smurgle, Ursaring, Shuckle, and Togetic, that's pretty much it, you know. And then of course the e-reader ones, but uh huh. But that's pretty much it, though. Like it's not really much. Yeah. Ooh, there could be a potential dark type DPQ. Actually, that's kind of dope. Just seeing the lineup, because you could, do, for example, right? You could start off with with uh, Umbreon if you decide to do it like that, you know. Uh, uh, you could do Umbreon, then afterwards you could do uh, the next one would be. Uh, would be would be Sneasel, then Murkrow, um, then uh, the 33, Absol, Houndoom, and then uh, oh, is there is there six? There's no six Dark type. Oh my god, that was so close. Titar. Oh Titar! What the fuck? Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's actually kind of kind of a dope one. Yeah, that'd be like super aids to try it on all of the like. Oh, I have to only, or I guess it would be fine because you would only catch you know the absol every or whatever. I um, don't even know. Well, you, you can hunt them separately if you, you like. Um, yeah, if for that, if you're like only focused on yourself out for a DC. Like, to do it oh, on the same stage. Yeah, no, no, you could, you could do that easily. You could just hunt the Absol first. Then afterwards, uh... Mm -hmm. Then afterwards, uh, do it, like, once you get the Absol, just, uh... uh then, then do the Houndoom separately. In fact, you can actually easily, like, conveniently do Houndoom and, and Absol right next to each other. But then again, that's, uh, that's actually, like, uh... If you want to do it for the DTK, you would have to set, uh, hunt them separately. And either way, it's not too bad. So you would just hunt us the Absol first then um then you would hunt the houndoom which isn't too bad either like on its own and then afterwards you would you would hunt the t-tar because t-tar you do have to like hunt like like you know because you don't have to um you don't have to go through all the battles you know since it's the last battle of the game like uh the game is pretty forgiving where it's like oh this is the last battle you know you just go into that last battle with against the uh, evis or evice or whatever and then mm -hmm. uh lose the battle and uh, like like right there then uh then just do the, the, the you know just do it like that oh. and, like and, yeah and then just easily save and like the battle is kind of aids like you do have to set up for it like pretty crazy but like um other than, other than that though it's pretty pretty chill yeah i feel like i would go insane hunting the same hunt that many times or, or such a similar hunt that many times in a oh yeah like in this it basically being in the same location yeah yeah no, no i mean that's what like why do you think i fucking like every time i do a, a different hunt i just go to a different scenery you know different location like i wouldn't be able to like for example let's say i get the swab blue dunsparce or meta type and then i'm like oh okay got one of them okay let's go Let's continue for a Meditire done or like one of the, the the remaining two and like I don't know it, it I would uh I, I'd rather change the scenery. That's why like when I get one of these I'm gonna go to the Shadow Lab for either Murkrow or Aerodos and I'm kinda leaning towards the Aerodos, but we'll see. Makes sense. Yes, some of my um uh, one of my like I don't know, one of my game cubes is perpetually having a problem, you know what I mean? Like I replace it with a different one and then a different one has a problem. Mm. Or whatever. 
that slot just right like, there. Yeah, I just don't really know much about the repairing the game cubes either, or I would probably be legit. I wish mm -hmm. there was someone like in the community that lived like in, like close by, and I could just send them all my broken game cubes, and then like if one of mine breaks, they would just set. You know, what I mean, they'd be like, "Oh, I got you, Doug." Mm -hmm. I just don't have the time or effort to like get into that. I'm into too much shit already. <laughs> For sure. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, uh, I know some stuff about GameCube repair, but it, you would still... But even knowing stuff, it's it's still kind of... I can send some videos your way, just so you can kind of... As a mini guide. Yeah. That, so yeah, it's, it is kind of... It is a little I don't daunting. own a multimeter either, because before I had taken apart... Um a GameCube and I tried to do the like adjustment thing but I didn't have a multimeter so I just turned it a little bit and then tried it and turned it and that was fucking horrible and never fixed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm recording. Okay, so an hour into the recording, actually, not too bad. Oh, oh my god! Mm. Oh, look at that red dot right there, dude. That's look so at... noticeable. Oh, that is. <laughs> <laughs> look at him! Oh, I'm I'm so happy. He's my 21st. Oh, <laughs> and it, it's a dude. So yeah, one bow. Well, I mean, regardless, it would have been one bow. So let's let's go ahead and see. Oh, let's uh, so it's not this one, it's this one. Alright, and then uh, so it's, let me see, so it's the second, it's, so it's this multi-viewer, and it's the second one. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on, no, that's not it then, uh, it's the... Second Oh, okay, it's this one, I'm sorry. Alright, here we go. Oh, it is, okay. It's this one. And then, uh... Audio switch to... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Alright, there we go. And then I'm gonna exit this out. And then, oh, and I need to also count up once. So, oh wait, that's a clean number! 50, so, 18... 1880. So... Whew. That is amazing. Let me just window the screen. Oh my god, I need to figure out which one it is too. So it was from the second multiverse. That means it's actually in... That's most likely a Wii. That is most likely a Wii. And then, yeah, obviously, like, so let me see. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, channel 2. Actually, no. Might actually be... Oh! It's not the Wii, it's actually the... Okay, so this is actually the, the one of my GameCubes, actually. So, okay. Okay, so I know exactly. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Let, let's let's take him out. And I'm gonna go ahead and, of course, uh, end the battle in a bit. Mm. So, here we go. Uh, yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god. Drought is over. For a bit. Oh my god. So good. So freaking good. Wombo! 
The Dawn Spires. Oh my god. Look at him! Oh, Pink Belly! Oh my god. Pink boy over here. Look at this. Alright. So that means we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this. Oh wait, wait. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call. And then we're gonna do this. Look at how beautiful! Oh my god! Shiny, where you save, but you don't remember. Look at him! And you just keep saving. Look at oh. he looks kind of intimidating. Look at him! Oh, <laughs> so good! So amazing. All right, so we're here finally. Oh, this was like. If, like, I drowned I drowned for a little bit. Just a wee bit, you know. Uh, the other hunt didn't work out. Um, well, but, it, you know. So I decided to do this one, you know, and it, it, I, I actually felt it was a lot more fun, honestly, so. But look, oh my god. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I can't. Here's the summer bay. <laughs> And check this out. Oh my god! Look! Oh. So good! Oh my goodness. This verse is so underappreciated. You can have beautiful. Yes, we're gonna nickname you. We're gonna nickname you the one and only Wombo. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Wombo. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. No! Ah! I, oh. Look at him taking damage! Move or something. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Solar Babe! <laughs> Boy, advanced screen. I like. I, I'm, I'm gonna look at this screen right here. And then, uh... Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Look at the beautiful boy! Oh my god! There he is! Wombo! Love the colors here! Look at that! The yellow with the pink looks so good. There's a there's a wormples. And then here is Wombo! Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at how beautiful. Oh so good. Here we go. Our 21st member! Wombo! The Dunsparce, look at right next to Mantine and, and Puddles, oh, so amazing, look at all oh, my beautiful barbers, my barbers, oh, so amazing, oh, alright, 21st, so here we go, we're gonna go ahead and, moment of truth with 
It is Serene Grace. So happy about that. And Bashful. Okay, okay, okay. But I'm very happy about the Serene Grace, though. Very, 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 very happy about the Serene Grace. So that is that is actually very, very, very good. Because I think it can have another ability, but I'm not. Uh, I'm kind of foggy in the details. All right, here we go. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So we have interesting so hp is 16 to 18 yeah not bad um a physical attack is three to five. Oh my god so and then uh it physical defense is 27 to 29 which is which is pretty good um special attack is 20 to 30 which it's interesting <laughs> special defense is 28 to 30 as well and speed is 7 to 9 so this guy has some amazing ivs but and where it falls short it's like no <laughs> the attack <laughs> but it's fine anyways guys thank you so much this was this was awesome oh my god uh, I always always happy to see one of my babies shine. So um so yeah guys I'll see you guys on the next one and take care. <laughs>